Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sickness at 3. Last time we just got down here to the uh, tavern underneath the dwarf's town. Looking in, we're looking for Gnome. It's an ex-spirit. Where they were looking for, so. As you can see, I went, and went ahead and leveled, grind a little bit off screen, got it going up to level 8. In fact, Hawk's oh, just about to be level 9. But, we shouldn't get him. We're pretty close to where the boss is, so he shouldn't get that before the boss. Like I said, we're not too far away from where the boss is, so should be able to at this level definitely have no problem taking him down. I'm gonna go heal myself here a second. And just a second to make sure we have Maximum. This is your, uh, like your storage screen. And if you have anything that can storage, you can just fill up your what you have. So I'll make sure we have nine round drops, candies. And then we'll get ready to fight the boss. Yeah, it's not like this random holes is random places in this cave aren't aren't normal. Whoa, crazy noise. Way to be a wuss with your your crazy skull cap. And somehow both sides of the walls get digged out. <laughs> and we get attacked by this I don't even know what the hell this thing is. Some sort of uh Groundhog or ferret? I, I have no idea. Yeah, he's not, he's not too terribly tough. Okay, he can cast some spells on you. Right now he's just kind of sitting there and taking it like a chump. That's what he does for a good portion of the fight. Oh, there you go. That lowers your defense power, and then he can guard himself like this, or he can't do shit. But he can't do that for very long. You are a bitch. Now get out of here. Ah, uh, yep. And he can cast some stat downs on you. Earth based stat downs. There's speed down. <laughs> Hit raid and have baby and raid go down. It's not that big of a deal. And he can catch tech up on himself. That is annoying. Nope, and there's his one of his better attacks. He flies across the screen and does damage to everyone. So you gotta make sure you're Make sure you're above like 50 HP when he does it. <laughs> when he does that. Or else you probably die. Or shielding himself. I can't get my freaking there we go, I got my special attack in. Normally he will cast another speed down. Normally he'll cast diamond missile. But he hasn't cast it yet. Maybe only when he gets closer to dying? I don't know. Could be relatively close. Yeah, he's dead already. As you can see, he's some kind of weird gopher thing. I don't know. Really. Normally, he'll cast Diamond Missile on either one character or all characters, but he didn't even, he didn't even do it. I don't know why. But yeah, I'll take it. The less damage we take, the better. And then Watts comes back in, he's like, oh shit, 
You guys actually survived? In Yellowstone Valley. It's talking about me. And no, I'm the crazy bitch. Fine and dandy. Oh, that, that's probably not good. <laughs> you have a dark sense of humor there, Gnome. Yes, it's very important that we have your green hat. And the power of Gnome. Yep, because we're awesome. Now give us that fucking gunpowder, bitch. Damn right. Give me a fucking gunpowder. Sweet. Yeah, give me the magic. Give me that magic rope. Man, yeah, Hawk didn't level up. He must have, like, a few EXP left to level. Now we just head back to Bon Voyage and let them see our newly acquired gunpowder. So we can fire us to our death. <laughs> Yay! Oh, <laughs> I just wonder why things were glitching out there. It's because he even leveled up. So, you know, again, strength is locked, so... I could go with agility, but I think I'll go with vitality. He could use it. He probably get the lowest vitality of any three of these three, so... I should take care of that one when I can. Hopefully. And it's just the same area we've seen multiple times now. And we'll see a couple more times. So again, not really much to say, just kinda... <laughs> killing shit while I walk down the yellow brick road, looking for the scarecrow. <laughs> not really actually looking for a scarecrow, but, you know. This place just uh, screams for Wizard of Oz references. Freaking arrows. Arrowed. Oh, my stomach lining. <laughs> uh, and you guys get that. Then. You're awesome. Oh, yep. Killing shit. That's what we do. At least we haven't run any freaking morons yet. Well, there's one, but yeah, they're on a freaking dart in my face. That makes my day much better when I don't get a dart in my face. Oh, we're just rabbites. They've got, they've got like 20 HP, so one hit kills them. You know, level four. And here we are back in Maya. to go to shops or anything because we have the same stuff. I don't think they start selling chocolate yet. If they did, I'd go buy some, but I don't think they do. Well, let's go talk to a Bon Voyage again. I don't remember. I saw some. Oh, is that about gunpowder? I will stab you, bitch. <laughs> you better. Your jump is ridiculous. Oh, he actually calls it the same thing for the fourth time. I thought he'd come up with a fourth different name. Yep, and let's go to Forsena. Fire! Ridiculous.
And we're totally not in Forcina. Good job with the aiming there, douchebag. It's a great animation on Kevin when he gets shot of the cannon. Like he can almost keep standing up and just falls over. It's the funniest thing. The mole bear highlands. What a surprise, there's lots of mole bears. Never would have guessed. <laughs> it's okay. It's still a great game. Even if they kind of telegraph the enemies here. But I mean, it makes sense. But the area has lots of mole bears, and it's in a high area called Morebell Mole Bear Island. It's not silly. It's just. It is what it is. Save. Not doing anything major for a little while here, so. That's more story coming up here. Hey, look, it's Duran again. Yep, we're going there. Nice to meet you, too. That's probably good. Of course. Indeed. We will be there momentarily. And that thing really serves no purpose. Like, it's there, you, you click on it, it'll say question mark, but there, it does nothing. Not even later in the game, there's nothing for that. So it's like one of the <laughs> mysteries of this game. Why that thing with a question mark? I think the one in the rabbi forest would ask question mark because there is something you do with that later, but that one did nothing. I, I don't know. You really don't come back to this part of the Mulberry Highlands again. Come back to a different part later. It's farther over to the east. Or west, I should say. Damn, I'm still getting that lag. You don't even have anything running. Oh well. Not a major deal, I suppose. Eventually I'll get Ooh, Reese leveled up. And I get strength. Nice. Nine strength. Pretty nice. I think that's the highest, although if Kevin gets his, if Kevin can get his strength next time, he'll be at nine too. But I doubt he'll be able to. We're almost to Forcina. It's crazy, like... <laughs> these guys are actually kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, giant bees. They're like... With these spears that fly around. Granted, I don't like bugs to begin with. So, maybe that's why I think they're creepy, but... They are. <laughs> they're kind of annoying later in the game, too, when you fight pallet swaps with them. They cast, like, power up on themselves and shit. And then they can just do attack that like hits everyone after they power up themselves. So you can do a pretty respectable amount of damage. And you just kind of come out of nowhere and oh, oh you're dead. Oh, great. So yeah, not fun. Right now, obviously, they're harmless, but later you gotta watch out for them. Oh, Max on Toy Boy grasses, huh? Alright. And let's go into Forcina. Oh, that shit's going on. People are dead. Corin. 
the big bad dude. Yeah. Ready for the game. Go save the game. Alright. Suppose we can do that. Ooh, golden statue. So again, this wouldn't be a terrible place if you wanted to grind some. If you have any place there's a golden statue, it's generally a pretty good place to grind. I'm not going to right now because I just did some time in, in the cave grinding, so. And we're at a decent level here. He's literally level 6, so. We're in no danger. Ooh, Angel's Gorilla, very nice. 